In this video, I'll be giving introduction to the subject optimization techniques. So let's see what is optimization. It is a theory and subject related to finding the optimal points referring to maxima or minima. And it allows us to explore various methods or the algorithms that can be applied to the mathematical models that we get from the real life situation. And hence we can talk about their solutions. And we can also look at the optimization uh, theory from a different point of view. We can see the best solutions for a given particular situation. Now, what do I mean by best solution in a given situation? Let me to first give you an uh, example with the mathematics only. We all are aware how to find a minima and maxima of a function. Let us see that. So consider optimization in linear and non-linear functions both. So let me to first take a case in linear I want to optimize a function which takes the value small x1 plus x2 and the condition is that this line x1 plus x2 is less than or equal to 1. It is a straight line. It has this inequality. It satisfies less than or equal to 1 and the decision variable are non-negative. Once we are saying the decision variable are non-negative, so this is non-negative. That means they are in the first quadrant, the points. And this is a straight line which passes through the point 1, 0 and it passes through the point 0, 1. It is less than, so the region is the lower side. But all together, I get this particular region. So this, this triangle is the region in which I want to maximize this value. So we can see the maximum value occurs here only. So th this is how you can talk about the maximum value in the linear functions. And if I want to look at in the non-linear function, we are all aware how to find the maxima or the minima involving the derivatives. We can talk about the global maxima point or the global minima and also we can talk about the local minima and local maxima. So this address to the first point minima or maximum of a function. We can also look up the best solution for example in a real life situation such as transportation problem where I want to associate the lowest cost. Say I have a transportation business and I want to minimize the total transportation cost. And in this situation, consider this as a transportation model. So here I am showing the transportation model in the form of a network. We want to supply something from the warehouses and there is a destination where the material is going to be reached. So we have a supply and we have a destination. We can see this is the supply available at each warehouse and this is the requirement at each of the destination now the material is to be transported and there is a per unit cost associated with these transportation so obviously the question would be how do we minimize this total transportation cost so we, we need to see such real life problem and we need to see what sort of algorithm can help us to answer these problems and in the third case we might be interested in knowing the network and scheduling problems a little more deeper so for example there is an infrastructure project that and in that infrastructure project, we really interested in knowing what is the time duration of the project. How many years will it take to finish this big project? Or if we are writing a small project, uh, maybe I'm writing a book and I divide that whole project into small activities. So I need to know how much time duration I require for finishing that project. And for that, I also have to invest certain cost. So we always want to minimize that cost. So this means overall looking at these examples in an optimization, we can have an idea that we are trying to optimize our time or the cost or maybe if we are traveling, we want to minimize the distance. Also optimization technique is not limited to the examples that I mentioned here. There are various situations in which the optimization plays very important role. And so to understand optimization, we also need to understand what is mathematical formulation or the mathematical model behind that real life situation. The mathematical formulation or the mathematical model will allow us to relate various real life problems with the mathematical variables, tools and the solution strategies that we are going to apply while solving those problems. The one of the very important uh, uh, starting point in the optimization is to understand what are how the we select the alternatives available in a real life situation and the second argument that i can give here is the best mathematical model will allow us to reach to the nearest best optimal solution let's see what do i mean by alternatives here let me to consider an example now i have a situation one here and in this situation i'm just trying to understand what do i mean by alternative Imagine that I have a five week business commitment between Fetival and Denver. I can fly out of Fetival on Mondays and return on Wednesday. A regular round trip cost $400, but I get a discount 20% is if the round trip 
dates span a weekend a one way ticket in either direction costs 75% of the regular price so these are the conditions and based on that conditions what should be my decision how should i buy the ticket for five week period in the current scenario i have availability with three alternatives and let's see here in the calendar what is given to us in the problem is we have been given five week plan so this is we need to understand and the day that i need to cover is i have to go on monday and i need to come back on wednesday so say for example this is the first week that i've selected so this is monday to wednesday and then i choose the second week then i choose the third week fourth week and the fifth week okay and each week is independent so i can purchase the ticket independently and one round trip so for example the first alternative available with me is festival denver festival so it's a round trip departure on monday come back on uh, wednesday and it's the same week so this will cost me a regular price and the regular price is 400 dollars and five weeks so this will cost me 2000 dollars that's first alternative available with me but i have also another alternative available with me as buy one festival denver ticket four round trip denver festival denver that span weekend and one again denver festival ticket so this is one way journey this this is also one way journey and we got four round trip so in this one way journey it is going to cost us 75 percent of the regular price that is 75 percent of the 400 dollar and for the round trip that span weekend there is a discount of 20 percent so let's see that suppose if i started the departure from here that is the monday and we reach to denver so this is the one way booking from festival to denver and then we reach to denver and on fifth from denver i'm going to departure again and i'm going to arrive on the festival and i'm going to now look at at this trip here it is departure and at this stage this would be arrival and i'm going to follow this procedure now for the next four trips and we can see that in these trips there is a weekend that is going to come up there are weekends that are going to come up and because of these weekend we get a discount of 20 percent and the last journey once we have reached from this last journey that is a denver we can come back to festival so the cost that is going to come up here is the we have one way trip so this is 75 percent of the regular price of the round trip plus there are four four round trip journey that span weekend because it is span weekend so 20 percent discount will give me actually the cost as 80 percent of the regular price and plus the last one way trip this will again cost me 75 into 400 and this total will cost me 1880 in third alternative i'm going to buy one festival denver festival it's a round trip again and here i'm going to choose monday first week and wednesday of last week so for example here i want to select this monday and the last wednesday of the five week so this is my uh, departure and on this date i'm going to have arrival and the remaining duration so once i have started departure here i have reached to denver and on fifth i'll start my departure from denver and i will come back on 10th and the remaining will be again round trips so this is what we are going to follow up so in this case we got five round trips but the round trips are little different you see here festival to festival and the second round trip is denver to denver covering festival and covering denver so this is five weeks and in each case this is going to give me a discount of 20 percent as it overlay over the weekend this will cost me 1600 so by comparing now the cost of the other routes 2000 dollars 1880 and 1600 we see clearly that this one is the optimal we will choose this alternative now in the second situation i want to understand model so this will lead me to uh, more mathematics so that is how we will ensure that we are going to construct a mathematical model in the optimization technique and we are going to solve the problems the consider forming a maximum area rectangle out of a piece of a wire l inch what should be the best width and height so there is a wire of length l this is to be bent this is to be bent so i'm bending this length this total length is l and this bending is to be done in a way that i get a rectangle so here this is say width and this one is the height so the question is 
what should be the maximum area in the rectangle so we can see this what are the restriction in this situation width of rectangle plus height of rectangle is half of the length or i may say twice the width plus half is l and i want to maximize the area is length into breadth or width into height and we know that width and height can never be negative so you know width and height of the rectangle will be positive if there is no width if there is no width and there is no height then the area is zero so obviously we are going to introduce now here the non negative restrictions so these are what we call non negative restrictions and the one that we have been written here this is what we understand it as a constraint and the first one is understanding as the objective function okay so this is what we are trying to see that from the practical situation there are type of the problem that gives us alternative or there are type of the problem that give us a constraint based on that we want to formulate the mathematical model and then we want to see how does this model look like does this model look like linear quadratic in non linear and we try to search their solution strategies so i can now say the general modeling and optimization techniques involve an objective function that may be maximization or minimization it depends on the problem and there are certain constraint so we if i associate my objective function as fx and constraint as gix so i can say that if fx and all the constraint gix for every i if all are linear if they all are linear then we can talk about that this is a linear programming problem this is lpp linear programming problem if any one of them if fx or gix or both or at least any one of them so i have put it or here if any one of them are non linear so because we do not know at this moment what is the structure of a real life problem whenever we are going to construct we will see that from the function and this what come up from the construction so if any one of them is non linear we will we'll put this into the category of non linear and then we will learn the strategies or the solution techniques that is available in non linear and similarly we can look up what sort of model do we have and we can start applying the programming problem techniques